In this paper, we introduce a novel method to estimate accurate 3D shape under clothing from 3D scan sequences. The input scan sequence is shown on the left in pink, and our result, the minimally clothed shape, is shown on the right. Our results capture shape, fine facial details, and even hair. Estimating the human shape without undressing the person has several applications, such as robust tracking of people occluded by clothing, avatars for virtual reality and games, and also for virtual try-on. For such applications, people need to feel identified with the avatar. To validate our method, we collected Buff, Bodies Under Flowing Fashion, a novel dataset of high-quality 4D scans of people in clothing. Buff includes three males, three females, two clothing styles, and three motions, totaling more than 13,600 scans. We also computed the ground truth shapes in minimal clothing for every subject from motion sequences like the one shown here. The estimated shape in a T-pose is shown in white. The dataset includes ground shapes for every subject in the dataset. Examples for five of the subjects are shown here. Such ground truth shapes will only be used to validate the accuracy of different methods for shape estimation. The released scans also include dynamic textures as shown here. Other methods for shape under clothing have been proposed. However, results look overly smooth because they use weak models of pose deformation, and their results are restricted to the model space. To address this, we optimize a freeform surface and we regularize it towards a body model. Our approach combines the strength of model-based methods with the flexibility of freeform deformation methods. The result on the right is obtained from the sequence of clothes scans shown on the left. The final shape shows the fidelity of our approach. Let's consider the estimation of body shape using a single frame first. A scan is segmented into skin, shown in red, and non-skin parts, shown in blue. Our objective function constrains the solution to be close to the skin parts of the scan and to remain inside the cloth parts. Notice how the shape is deformed during optimization and how even facial details are captured. Each pose in a sequence constrains the body shape differently. If temporal information is not exploited, shape estimation varies too much over time, producing inaccurate results. To address this issue, a single shape can be optimized to fit multiple frames in different poses. The problem is that optimizing all frames together results in a computationally expensive and memory-intensive optimization. To address this issue, we present a novel method to compute a fusion scan that incorporates all temporal information. We obtain cloth registrations using the same objective function, but now considering all scan points as skin, shown in red. Cloth geometry is captured by deforming a freeform surface that is coupled to the body model. Since the registrations are in correspondence with the body model, we can decompose the motion in two components, pose and cloth dynamics. On the left you see the registrations, on the right you see the cloth dynamic component without pose, the cloth template. One of the key observations is that the cloth will drape on different parts of the body as it moves, so every new pose will place a new constraint on the body shape. This can clearly be seen by inspecting the cloth templates on the T-pose. Every pose makes the clothing move and place a new constraint on where the body can lie. Joining all constraints together reveals the underlying shape. We create a fusion scan that is simply the union of all cloth templates for all frames. The fusion scan contains all the temporal constraints in the same pose. This allows us to optimize a single model instead of a model per frame with common shape. Hence, the fusion scan approach is much more memory efficient. Using the fusion scan, we optimize a shape using the same single frame objective. The obtained result on the right is a fusion mesh that fits all temporal constraints in the fusion scan. The shape and pose of every single frame is then refined using the same objective and using the fusion mesh to regularize the optimization. Notice time-dependent face details are captured at this stage. This process effectively incorporates the temporal information very efficiently. We compare our method with a per-frame shape estimation baseline that uses the same objective function. The scan is shown on the left, the baseline in the middle, and our result on the right. As can be seen, the fusion mesh effectively regularizes the estimation, producing coherent shapes over time. This regularization also makes the estimation of pose more robust and stable. We compare our approach qualitatively and quantitatively against the state of the art. We first compare to Yang et al. ECCV 2016 on their publicly available INRIA dataset. 
The input scan is shown on the left, the approach of Yang et al. in the middle, and our result on the right. We obtain a significantly more accurate and stable shape under clothing estimation. Here we show the same comparison with the cloth overlaid. Notice that the shape and pose are robust to wide clothing as well. In the following, we show results and comparisons for several sequences of the INRIA dataset. Finally, we compare to Yang et al. on the newly collected buff dataset. Again, scan is shown on the left, Yang et al. in the middle, and our result on the right. In the following, we show several example results on the buff dataset sequences. Enjoy. Our approach obtains more accurate results both in pose and shape under clothing. This is reflected both quantitatively and qualitatively. We have presented a new effective method that fuses all temporal information in a fusion scan. Optimizing a single shape that fits the fusion scan results in very accurate shape estimation results, despite optimizing a single model. Future work will address more complex clothing, estimation of detailed shape under clothing from video sequences, and learning the statistics of cloth deviations from the body.